Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Diamond Gear with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant. Have yourself that great day as always. Now I've been playing with some Britannia and I've been having a great time with it. It's a bright laugh. It's just so different and so fresh and invigorating. It, it's brilliant. And I've made this little island out here. This is my Day Bloom Island, where I'm currently hosting many Day Bloom flowers, and they're all going into my mana spreader. This is the maximum size I think you can get as far as uh, connecting one mana spreader to as many flowers as possible. Uh, all these guys are just reaching it from out here, but if I had one here, it wouldn't be reaching it. So, and it's kind of cool that it makes a kind of you know flowery shape almost. <laughs> it, it's good. It's good. I like it. So these guys are coming up here, and uh, they're going along there and going into the base where I have kind of a central mana spreader that's kind of circulating it around a little bit. I do need to change these slightly. Uh, they could do with some lenses, and that's probably something we'll get into in the next episode. But lenses allow you to do some pretty funny, funky things with your mana spreaders. And they're quite interesting, so we'll play with those and we'll try and make our mana spreaders a little bit more efficient so that we're not losing so much. Because when the mana's getting spread like this over a long course, it does lose power. So you want to try and stop that from happening as much as you can, because that way you're not losing anything. So this stuff comes in here and then goes to this spreader, which then comes down here and goes in to our mana distributor, which is currently put it into four pools. And these pools we're going to use for something at some point, but currently they're just collecting because I want to try and get a decent backlog of mana for when I decide to actually do some stuff that requires a large quantity of it. Over here we have a load of these nightshades, which are powering this one. And the nightshades are great because they're pretty much always doing their thing. And that goes up into this one where we have another four of our mana pools. One mana pool is distributing down towards our runic altar, and the other one is going along over to here to power our jaded amaranthus. And I must admit, I'm getting a load, absolutely load of flowers from this guy. Uh, it wouldn't go past here, so this looks like the furthest point it's going to reach to, so I just filled these back in with clay, but it's definitely doing its thing, and it's working really, really well, so... Good dams. And I got loads and loads of petals now, which is beautiful. And my living rock is done, so let's grab this stuff. Now today, we're going to make a couple of cool funky things. And what these are going to allow us to do is they're going to allow us to move our mana around a little bit more freely. As that's going to be something that we're going to need to do. Having these guys spreading their mana is all well and good, but sometimes you want it to uh, be a little bit more compact. And a little bit more usable as far as taking it over large locations, and sometimes you want it on you because it could be slightly useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a thing called a mana tablet. So if we have a look inside our book binder and go to our Lexica Britannia, and we have a look at mana distribution, there'll be one here for, I believe it's this way, uh, portable mana transport. There we go. So a way of mana spread is to transport mana around is all well and good. There is also a way of doing it in a different manner. The mana tablet is a portable object which can carry mana on itself. Cool. Tossing one of these on top of a mana pool will allow for transport of mana between one and another. Alright, so I'll show you this bit in a sec, but let's get this guy made. So we need a load of living rock and we need a ma mana diamond or a mana pearl. I think we're going to go with a mana diamond. As I have more mana diamonds than I do pearls, I think. Yeah, I've only got two pearls, so... That's a thing. So let's go over here and make ourselves one of these guys. We've almost got enough living rock. Ooh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. One mana diamond. And I think I might have enough living rock. If not, we've just got a load more. So how much do I need? Seven. I need one more. All right, let's grab all these guys. There we go. And we'll go and craft this over here. Cool. So let's do that. There's our living rock. Gives us our mana tablet. Lovely. So a mana tablet is like a portable battery for mana. And what we can do with this is if we come over to one of our little tables over here and we get out our mana, our wand of the forest, you can see that when we hover over these, it says uh, accepting power from items. So if we shift and right click, it says now says sparing power to items. So if I was to throw this on here, what it's going to do is it's going to suck up the mana and it's going to put it inside our mana tablet. How cool is that? You can see all these cool little particle effects and things, and it means that it's starting to fill up. It needs a lot. It's not, like, fast. <laughs> and you need a pretty decent amount of mana for it to do its thing. But we can go and get a load of mana on this. And let's turn that one around. That one go back to normal. So we can see the little uh, use bar inside is going up slightly. Let's grab all of that. 
And we'll do the rest of this one as well. There we go. Sparing power to items. Alright, so our little tablet's got a little bit of mana in it. It hasn't got loads, but it's got enough. Oh my god, we're getting infested with emus. Or ostriches. <laughs> emus. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Although we are starting to get a quite decent amount in here for our Jaded Amor outfit, so I might go and nick some of this as well. So let's take all of that. There we go. So we've got a little bit of power in our mana tablet. So what we can do with our mana tablet is if we come over here, you can see that this is currently set as accepting power from items. So I can throw that back on there, and what it's going to do now is it's going to take the mana from our mana tablet and it's going to put it inside our mana pool for us. So we can move around our mana via our tablet as long as there is a pool for the area for it to go. Which is kind of cool, you know? And we can click it back and we can send the mana back into our mana tablet. There we go. Cool. So, why are we going to need the mana tablet? How's it going to be handy? Well, one, you can do what I did just then. If I have a pool somewhere over there uh, using that's connected to some sort of generating flower, say it was for uh, making wheat grow, then uh, we can we can throw a mana tablet down when we're a little short if we need a quick bit of bread. Well, we can do that. But there are a couple of, a couple of other things. This were very good. That one did not want to come out. And for those type of things, we can use mana steel. Now, there are types of armor that you can have as well, which are pretty funky. So let's look at our Lexica Britannia, and we'll go back. And, oh, which one's it under? Is it natural apparatus? Oh, is it this one? It might be. One of these has it. No, it's not this one. Uh, mystical instruments. Uh, mana blaster. There we go. Mana steel equipment. So mana steel are like other metals can be shaped into tools and armor alike. Tools or armor crafted from the from the material will share their properties with iron. Albeit somewhat superior in enchantability and durability, whenever a mana item is to take damage, if there's mana available in the inventory, such as a mana tablet, it will use that instead. Cool. So we can make things like mana steel pickaxes, and we can make stuff like mana shovels. And mana shears, which is kind of cool. We can make a, a mana steel sword. Now, that does look pretty funky. Uh, we can make mana helmets. All of the general things you'd expect. All of your cool attribute items and your uh, and stuff like your booties will be able to take durability from your tablet. Now, that's... Uh, I'm going to say that's pretty cool. So, let's make ourselves something mannerish, and we'll give it a go. Let's try and make one of these mana swords and see how that works. Now, we are going to need to get ourselves some of this living wood, and we'll make ourselves a living twig. There we go. And we're going to need. <laughs> He's going to be the first subject. <laughs> and we'll make ourselves one of these. So, I think it's this with some of those gives me a mana steel sword. All right, so we've got our mana tablet, which is good. And uh, it's got 115 in it currently, you can see in the bottom left. So if I went over and I beat up this ostrich, so this should generally take durability. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're now down to, oh, 115, which is good. That's nice. So let's do something else that always uses up durability low. So we have 115 in there, 301 there. So let's use this to do this. 115. 114, there we go, we can see it going down. So it's taking the stuff out of our mana tablet. Now, one thing to always remember whenever you're looking at any of this stuff, which is something that I've come across, and I'm really new to Britannia, so this isn't kind of second knowledge for me, but I have noticed that the mana pools have... They, they look like they shouldn't hold much, but they actually hold tons of mana. Like, these guys hold loads of mana, and it's, it's pretty cool how they do that. And have I got these the right way around, accepting power from items? Taking power from items. Yeah, I have. We're good. All right, it's just not spreading very much. Oh, it's because it's night time. That would be why. <laughs> I was wondering why they were empty then. I was like, oh, did I not change them around? Well, I did. Yeah, so those guys generally have loads and loads of mana in them, and they can store loads. And it's the same for the tablet, I guess. 115 doesn't sound like much. It sounds like something that would run out after maybe a day sitting, but that definitely is not the case. It seems to be holding far more than that, which is, I'm going to say, pretty cool. I like the idea behind that. Yeah, and another thing that I've only just noticed as well, is if you look at my experience bar, it's got a little mannery curve going along the beginning of it. Look, that little bluish item. Isn't that cool? If I take this away, it disapparates. Put it back, goes back again. So I guess that's showing how much mana I have left, like a mana bar. I like it. That is funky. 
Cool. All right. So that's the mana steel sorted. So I think what I'm going to do over the next few days, I'm going to make myself some more mannery ingots, and I'm going to get myself a load of mannery tools so I can have some mannery boots, which are very nice. So those can go on there. And as we take any damage from falling or any damage from getting beaten up by mobs, and there are many, many mobs, hippopotamuses, rhinos, there's even moles out there that want to attack me. <laughs> we'll have our uh, we'll have our back logged mana to make sure that we don't lose our items, which is pretty good. So the last thing that I want to make before we probably call it a day is a pretty funky item. And it's another one of these items that come from inside here. Actually, we might even make a couple more. So let's play with some of these mana items today. So the next one I want to make is going to be the Mana Blaster. Now this is cool. So if we go and look at this one, the Mana Blaster is like a portable mana spreader. While shaped like a pistol for easy handling, it's not exactly a firearm, as much as it is just a portable spreader. By utilizing mana from mana carrying items in the holder's inventory, it can shoot a mana burst when one is looking at. Cool. So let's have a little look at see at this guy, and it looks Funky, I must admit. So to get one of these, we need a redstone mana spreader, we need some living wood, we need some TNT, we need a mana diamond, and a rune of mana. And runes of mana, I believe, are not that cheap. We need one, two, three, four, five. We need five mana steel, and we need a mana pearl. Let me see if I've got one of these already, because I have been making a few. No, I haven't. All right, so we're going to need five mana steel, and we're going to need a mana one of these. So we'll grab one of those. Let's grab five of these. Okay. And we'll go over and probably use the power from here, because we're getting a fairly decent back amount of this stuff, so... One, two... Oh, have we ran out? I think we've reached the limit. Let's go grab some from over here, because we should have these filling up now that it's daytime. Yeah, there we go. Oh, have you not got enough? Oh, we might be a little bit low. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> all right. I know this guy's going to have loads of power because those ones up there haven't been used at all. So we're going to want five mana steel. So let's pop these on there. We're going to want a mana pearl. Let's do that. Let's give it a slap. So it starts doing his tang, starts bringing his power in. You can see that it's now accepting his power ready for its little transformation. And we're going to want some of this stuff, our living rock. So let's grab a piece of this because remember, we need to make a rune. So... That's going to... Oh, that's my lunchbox. <laughs> Don't want to go losing that. So that's going to do that. And hopefully, once we've got enough power from this, we should start seeing all the lightning and all the funky things happening from inside here. Let me just make sure that I've got enough of the power in there. Because I always get a little bit worried sometimes that I haven't got enough in there. So let's have a little looky-see inside my book binder. That we've added all the right stuff. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's five of those and a mana pearl, but it does require a fairly decent amount of mana to be able to do its thing. So that's uh, definitely something to remember. So what I might do. Oh, here we go. We're getting the lightning bolts. I wonder if we're ready already. This could be pretty cool. Let's throw this down. And poof. Yeah, there we go. One rune of mana. All right, so we've got our Rune of Mana. Let's look at the other bits and bobs that we have to do. So we've got a Rune of Mana. Well, we are going to need one of these, so we need to grab ourselves a Mana Spreader. There we go. And we're going to get a real weird bug at the minute where it keeps doing that. Let's put that back up there. All right, so we're going to want to use this guy to make ourselves a Redstone Mana Spreader. Because remember, it's kind of it's a gun, isn't it? So it needs a little bit of technological gizmo-ish in there. So we'll have one of those guys. There we go, one redstone mana spreader. And I can only guess these are like regular mana spreaders, but they can uh, operate via a uh, redstone signal. So there's that one. Yeah, that's kind of cool as well, because if you want something to not be getting power, but you still want the ability to get power to it when you want power to it, you could always set one of these up, which is pretty funky. So we need those guys. What else do we need to make our mana gun? Let's have a look. We need one of those. We need some TNT. We need a mana diamond and two living wood. All right. And we need a mana diamond. Wow, this is stripping me out of diamonds. But I do need to go mining soon. With all these mana tools I'm about to make, it should be a cinch. So let's do that. Oh, man, have any of these got enough mana to give me a diamond? How about you? Have you got enough mana? No? How about you? Nope. Wow. I, <laughs> I really need those lenses. I'm losing so much from that guy. Uh, let's try this one. No. Oh man, this sucks. 
This sucks very bad. All right, we'll use this. We'll do this. This will be a thing. Whoop. There we go. Get some mana. Suck it up. Bam. All right. Now that is why you have a mana tablet. <laughs> Cool, so we got this guy, we're gonna need some TNT, so we're gonna need some gunpowder, and that's one thing I really don't know if I have much of. Huh. Let's do this, because I'm feeling a tad lazy. Oh, give it a second, ba bam and rough. <laughs> Let's go and see if we've got any over in here. Uh, we should do, because it's been running, and I've still got it set to uh, beat stuff up and collect their goodies. Let's have a look. Oh my god, we've got loads. And I've got silver swords. When did I get silver swords? I got diamonds. What drops diamonds? Unless it's an ogre. I think ogres drop diamonds. Wow, that's a thing. Huh. I'm just going to leave this guy running. <laughs> He's getting all the things for me. Cool. So I want this. And let me just double check, make sure I'm getting it right. Sand and gunpowder. Cool. There we go. And look at all these candy flowers. Huh. I'm going to have to do something with those soon. They seem pretty cool. All right, we've still got 40 seconds of bat flight left, so let's use this. Let's go over this way. And we'll make ourselves our TNT. All right, and I think I'll take that out. Cool. And we'll pop it back in our totemic chest. Apparently, totemic's getting an update soon. So I don't really want to go touching it any more of it for the time being until the update comes along. And then we'll check out all of the new funky goodies that get implemented. All right, so we've got our sand. We've got our gunpowder. Let's make ourselves some TNT. Yeah, I love TNT. I love blowing stuff up. So let's do that. Get our gunpowder. Get our TNT. And we've got our living wood. We've got all this stuff. So let's double check the recipe. So it's TNT, mana diamond. All right, we got this. So TNT, mana diamond, living stuff, this guy, and a rune of mana. One mana blaster. Cool. All right, so before we can use this, we're going to need to get some mana inside our tablet. Now, one thing that you can do, I believe, is I think you can stand on one of these, like this, and you can fire. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? But, and I think it's still full at the minute, yeah. Alright, so let's do this. So we're going to change this guy around. So let's sparing power to items. And we'll get some power inside our tablet. There we go. Alright. And we're just going to go around and grab as many of these as we can. So whatever's spare inside these guys, we're going to grab all of this. So sparing power to items. Suck all that one up. Cool. Cool. Uh, sparing power to items, do the same here. And do the same one. This one. Cool. Alright, so we've got 91 inside there. So let's go out and see how much this uses up. So it says we've got 31 shots. Oh, that just seems to be the durability of it. <laughs> All right, 91. 90. 90. Still on 90. 89. Oh, but this guy just holds so much mana. <laughs> I love it. This is just amazing. <laughs> All right. So what we can do with this as well, is we can actually fire this into these like that. And it will uh, put mana inside our mana pools. Pretty cool, right? So we can keep firing at those and getting all the power and things into there, which is nice. It is going to use up more power, mana, more power from our tablet, but hey. And I don't actually know if this does do any damage. I'm going to go ahead and say it probably doesn't, but... Who knows? I guess we could give it a try. I have got some sort of hate for emus at the minute, so... Uh, it didn't look like it did anything, but I think this only travels so far. Uh, we'll give it one more try. But I'm really not expecting any means of damage, especially on ostriches. Uh, no, no, it just passed straight through. It's like some sort of friendly railgun. <laughs> Love it. Alright, and we're on 87. 
So, I think that's probably going to be that for this episode. We have done a fair few bits. Hmm. We might do one more bit, actually. Yeah, let's do a quick one more. One more bit of fun. Because, uh... I'm enjoying this. So let's go make one last thing before we wrap it up. It's going to be a quick, simple, and easy one. At least I think it's going to be. So let's have a look in here. Something else that we can use of our mana. So if we go back, we're going to make ourselves a Rod of the Lands. No, let's make a Horn of the Wild, maybe. Horn of the Wild? Should we make Horn of the Rod of the Lands? I think this requires a Rune of Earth. And do I have a Rune of Earth? I might do. I do, yes. All right, so we can make this one really easily. So let's go over here and do this. And we'll make ourselves some roots. Cool. And I can't remember for the life of me how this goes. Is that it? Or is it that? That? Let me just double check the recipe. So it's a rune of earth, living wood. Oh, and a piece of dirt. All right. Let's get a piece of dirt. So it's our rune, our living twig, and our dirt gives us a rod of the lands. Okay, right. So apparently... This is like, kind of bone meeting the ground. At least I think it is. You see all these will stop now because our day blooms have given up? That's a thing. Let's uh, have a quick sleepies actually before we go and do this. But I think what this does is like personal bone meal. But I think you can only just use it on the ground. I don't think you can use it on plants. I don't think it works like that. As there is functional flora for that, so it makes sense. So let's go and do this. Let's go back to the other base. We'll just use this. Let's go to the... Old base. And we'll give this a shot and see what happens. So this guy is going to use mana from our mana tablet. Uh, there's a load of things that can use mana from our mana tablet. And it's probably stuff that we're going to be playing with over the next few episodes. But let's see what this does. Ah, it lays down dirt for us. <laughs> so what we got? 87. Uh, 86. 86. I want to see how many bits of dirt I can get. 86. 86. 85. Alright, so let's measure this. So we've got 85. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 85, 5, 6, 7. So it's around 6 or 7 that you can get from one of these guys. That's kind of cool. I like it. That much dirt, just from a little bit of mana. And this is amazing because I'm sure we can nerd poll. <laughs> Which is actually going to be really handy. The amount of times I have to do that to try and. The most po common reason to do that I've actually found over the last day or two. It's to sort out the mana spreaders. That could be really handy. So definitely something I'm going to use a lot of the Rod of the Land. Yeah, I love it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be that for this episode, I believe. We've been checking out some of the cool things we can do with our mana. And how we can transport our mana with our mana tablet. We've made ourselves our mana blaster for uh, making a portable one of our mana spreaders, which is cool. Our Rod of the Land for laying down our dirt. And we started looking at our mana steel uh, swords and boots and bits and bobs like that. And how they can take mana from our mana tablet as their uh, source of durability. Which is a really cool. Like mega mega cool. So I'm going to make a full set of those guys. That's going to be my that's gonna be my armor of choice for the time being. Until we can get onto Terra Steel which is a little bit expensive. <laughs> Alright guys I'll see you soon for another episode. Have yourself that great day. Have a good one as always. And goodbye. Goodbye.